Dear beloved son, it's me, your heavenly father, speaking to you this night. How I love you, my son, for the obedience to the leadings of my Holy Spirit in you. Now listen carefully to what I want to share with you to be passed to my remnants, my special chosen vessels, and my bride at large. The bath pangs are over. Delivery is taking place all over the nations of the true seeds of the kingdom of heaven. My kingdom, my son's kingdom, the groanings and the longings of the creation for the manifestation of my true sons and daughters is hereby with you. I am unearthing and revealing my special vessels who have been hidden for long in waiting worship and fear of me. They had long prepared for this. I am unearthing them now. They are quickly coming out. Like I said, pushing through the earth in germination, so are my hidden ones. My warriors who have been underground hidden, pressed down, pushed over by the forces of this world. They are now rising fresh, strengthened and in vigor to come and work my works upon the face of the earth. As the world is wearing over the plagues upon it, which will continue to escalate from one end to another. I, the mighty Jehovah, I am an earthing my warrior armies in great power and glory. They will be a terror on the face of the earth. They will share kingdoms. They will overthrow dominions. As they rise, they are rising in glory in all corners of the world. And I am attaching them my divine authority and power to decree a thing and it is established. Quickly and speedily, in a moment's notice, shall I gather them at my chosen place for unification and oneness with my Holy Spirit. We have moved into a new season, son. Delays shall be no more. I am speedily carrying out this training of my chosen vessels for the great battles of all ages that is about to be witnessed. The powers of hell, the powers of the first prophet, and the powers of the Antichrist are quickly setting themselves in place to act and move. No time to waste. Every second, minute, hour now counts very much. Soak, soak, soak yourselves and your household and all that belongs to you in the blood of my Son, Jesus Christ. Tell my people, my beloved Son, now is the time to soak and declare the blood of Jesus upon themselves and their beloved. For so near is the time of unlocking the greatest wickedness of demonic powers to be witnessed upon the face of the earth. Spread this word quickly and across all the nations. Every dear son and daughter of mine, soak yourself and loved ones in the blood of Christ Jesus. Angels of hell and demonic powers are about to be released to your sphere to carry out their evil plan and agenda. Already governments and the world are in terror because of the viruses that are quickly and will quickly spread all over the world. This is creating a conducive environment for these forces to work out their plans and agenda. Tell my sons and daughters that I shall keep and guard their houses and belongings if they shall abide forever at my altar in soaking and declaring upon themselves and their beloved the blood of Jesus. Look upon yourselves. Time has run out. For those who are not in me, time has run out. Move quickly and make a decision. 
come out of uncertainty, fear, and doubt. Now is no time for doubt. Now is no time for fear. Now is no time for anxiety. Now is no time for indecisiveness. It is time to act and move in faith. As you open up and begin a new season, things will work out and you are about to see supernatural occurrences that have never been witnessed. This I allow because of my love for man, that them that are blind, their eyes will be opened and that they may return to me. Pray that during such supernatural and extraordinary occurrences soon to be seen, that many shall return to me and repent and turn from their wicked ways, for my arm is not too short to save. My pleasure is to see all come to the knowledge of my Son, Jesus Christ. Whatever, my dear children, you are experiencing are the last kicks of a dying horse. Never again shall you see them. Be strong and steadfast now than you have ever been. Abide in my praise and worship and you shall stand. I love you, my beloved children, and soon we shall be together.